Hello guys, Aiden here. Today we're going to be playing some Pokemon Soul Silver, and I think we're going to try to do the Nuzlocke Challenge. Um, it's been about three or four years since I've actually played uh, a Pokemon game, so throwing in the Nuzlocke Challenge is going to be a bit different than I'm used to, for sure. Um, even more so, I've never actually played uh, Soul Silver before. Or Heart Gold. I played Gold, Silver, and Crystal way, way back in the day on the Game Boy Color, but I've, uh, <laughs> I don't remember any of that, because it must have been, I, I must have been like seven or eight when I was playing that game. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you're, if you're unfamiliar with Nuzlocke Challenge, basically, um, the main, the main challenge is that we are going to be playing the game without revives or uh, uh, Pokemon Center uh, heals. Basically, I mean, you can. <laughs> uh, I'm caught up in my. Uh, I can't speak. Uh, basically, if a Pokemon faints, it faints for good, and then we have to put it in the PC and release it. Uh, but you can go to, you know, Pokemon Centers to heal Pokemon that have just been damaged in battle and haven't fainted. You can use potions, etc. Um, and then the other challenge is that you have to catch the first Pokemon you encounter in a route. So, I actually have an app that's going to help me uh, figure out which Pokemon we have or haven't caught, uh, or which routes we haven't had an encounter for. Um, so if if the Pokemon uh, that we encounter, you know, flees or we uh, make it faint, then we don't actually get a Pokemon for that route. So we have to be very careful and play our cards right. Uh, and then I think the third thing is you pretty much... you. I think it's optional, but most people do it, is you nickname your Pokemon. Uh, according to the first guy who um, started his, you know, started the Nuzlocke challenge, he, uh, he said that nicknaming your Pokemon gives you a, a stronger bond with your Pokemon, and during the Nuzlocke challenge, for sure, that is a, uh, a big part of... Um, I don't know, keeping your wits about you and, you know, making the right moves and not risking anything. So we're going to go with Chikorita and nickname him Bean. I haven't, uh, never used Chikorita as a starter. Back in the day, I always picked Cyndaquil. I may have run Totodile once, but I'm pretty sure I always picked Cyndaquil. My brother was a big Totodile fan, so I never had to worry about, uh, you know, any, uh, trades or or something, because he'd always give me the Pokedex entry for Totodile. Alright, so we've already gotten Chikorita. We got a couple potions. I believe we get five potions from that guy. Oh, and there's, what is her name, Lyra, which is waiting for us. Um, so I, I don't actually know if she's our, one of our rivals. I know she's a character in the game. I think she might be a rival. Like I said, I don't know anything about this game. This guy chilling up here in the corner, he is a rival, uh, he steals, well, you know what, if if you haven't seen the story before, I won't uh, spoil it, but I'll tell you that he is going to be a rival. Oh, so this lady's not letting us leave. Ah, we gotta get poke gear from Mom. That's basically the cell phone in this game, if you've played Gen 3, it's like the Pokenav. I'm pretty sure, at least. She's going to give it to us. You can use it to make a phone call. Do you remember how? So, yes. And she's still going to tell me how to do it. <laughs> One thing uh, I've noticed about the Pokemon games since, um, since pretty much after Gen 3 is... Eh, maybe Gen 4, too? Maybe... <sighs> I, I don't I can't I can't remember when exactly it it started but uh, 
I don't know, Nintendo decided, um, or Game Freak rather, decided that they would start putting in more tutorials and uh, give the, the dialogue, make it a little bit more of a childish dialogue. And, and I get it. It's to appeal to, you know, new players who've never played a Pokemon game before. Um, and I don't mind that. I mean, when I, when I get a Pokemon game, um, I'm in it for the story and for the new Pokemon, really. I don't really care about, uh, you know, the dialogue and starting tutorials. Because it's just like an extra minute of, of doing stuff. Um, so, even though Hoot Hoot is our first encounter on this route, the Nuzlocke Challenge doesn't actually start officially until we get our first Pokeballs, and we don't have those yet. So I don't mind encountering anything in these first routes, so no need to avoid. Um, alright. Now, I I know I haven't been playing Pokemon, or I haven't played Pokemon in three to four years, but I've been keeping up to date on uh, Pokemon Showdown on the um, Smogon University website. So I, I understand uh, move sets and strategies and some most weaknesses and, and strengths and stuff, but uh, there's some things I'm probably gonna fail at, and I can almost guarantee that we're gonna lose a Pokemon in the process. Okay, we're getting stopped by this guy. You're a Luffy trainer, aren't you? I can tell. Okay, so he's like the tour guide that's gonna tell us about all the buildings in the town. So here's the Pokemon Center. It's gonna show us the Pokemon Mart next, I assume. Yeah. They actually, I don't believe that Mart does sell Pokeballs, sir. And Route 30 is this way, so we're gonna we're trying to get to Mr. Pokemon's house right now to pick up a parcel, I think, from him, or deliver a parcel. I can't remember. But uh, um, he's on Route 30, so we are halfway to Mr. Pokemon's house. And this is this guy's house. Oh, he's gonna give me his running shoes. Alright. So we can run. That speeds up the game just by a bit. Cool. And... Let's get out of here. Oh! What now? Oh, old man again. What is it? Oh, a map card. Okay, cool. I am probably going to end up needing the map to figure out where I am at, <laughs> at random points in the game. Um, cool. Route 30. Here we go. Pokeball. Um, encounter. What kind of Pokemon are in here? Same thing. Rattata. I, I hope to God that this does not become my encounter for this route later on. I don't really need a Rattata. If I'm catching anything in these- ooh, Jesus, a critical hit already? Now I know the Nuzlocke cha I said the Nuzlocke challenge doesn't start uh, until we get a Pokeball, but um, the part of the challenge I'm talking about is the encounter part. If we faint with Bean- oh, and we learned Razor Leaf! Alright, so we got a good grass move to start with, that's nice. Apparently that tree can be up with it. Potion. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna spring a potion onto Bean already here, because I don't want him to get close to fainting. Seven points. The potion's what, 20 points? Alright, so he's like about 50% of his health. Got anything to say? Nope, just gonna admire the running shoes. Oh, I just talked to Bean. Looks like it wants to lead. Alright, and I think this is Mr. Pokemon's house. No, you do not look like Mr. Pokemon. He even said people mistake his house for Mr. Pokemon's house. Oh, he's the guy who's gonna give me the Apricorn box. Now, I don't really know what good Apricorns do. I, I don't know if they're like berries or, or what, but we got a green one. So if this isn't Mr. Pokemon's house, his house must be up ahead. I see a Pokeball in the top left corner. Rattata again! 
seriously, I hope Rattata is not the only Pokemon that we're going to be finding. Let's hit him with a Razor Leaf. Oh, he avoided it. Razor? I, wonder, I thought Razor Leaf had 100% accuracy. Maybe I'm wrong. Man, the animation looks cool. Alright, and I think we're just going to hit him with a Tackle. I think Tackle has like a 95% accuracy, but if Razor Leaf missed, then I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's head up. Oh, come on! <laughs> Two steps later. And another Pokemon. Rattata. I'm trying to keep uh, these episodes down to maybe 20 minutes-ish, and that means I kind of want to get stuff done in an episode. I don't think... I don't think we're gonna make it to... I mean, we're only 11 minutes in, so we'll definitely make it to Mr. Pokemon's house, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to deliver what he's given us or catch a new Pokemon. Let's see. I don't know when you get Pokeballs. I'm guessing as soon as we deliver uh, whatever Mr. Pokemon has, we'll be able to get Pokeballs. Alright, where's the leaf again? I've only seen Rattata in Route 30. I'm convinced it's the only Pokemon here. Okay, he hit us with a crit. He cannot kill us again. Uh, or he can't hit us with another crit and kill. So, I'm going to take my chances with Razor Leaf. Now, a, oh, a Tail Whip crit could kill, but I'm going to rely on the... Alright, and you finish him. I'm going to get up to level 7. Well, if anything, these Rattatas are giving me levels, so that's nice. Let's, uh, oh, key item in the bag. Didn't know this. Alright, let's give him another potion, though. We have five, so I don't want to be stingy. I wonder if we're going to see any trainers anytime soon. Where, where am I? Oh, I'm pressing hit the A. Cool. Let's see what we pick up. An antidote? Alright, so what is an antidote? I think it's poison heal. Can't go that way because some dude's fighting with another guy. We're having a poke bin. Hoodoo! Alright, so other Pokemon do exist. Uh, so I think he's flying at the moment. So we'll hit him with a Razor Leaf. That's not what I meant. I meant to use Tackle. If he's flying, Razor Leaf's not going to do much to him. I don't know. <laughs> See, I, I said I might mess up, but that's that, that's a different kind of mess up. I my brain I just had a brain fart. Although it looks like Tackle and Razor Leaf did fairly the same amount of damage. Foresight, he identified me. I don't under I don't know what Foresight does. I think he knows what ability I have. I don't think that's not gonna help him though, he's AI. Cool, cool. Uh, maybe I was supposed to go to the left. Nope, that appears to be the right way. Another Pokemon, Doo Doo. Alright, um, since he's level 4, I'll take him on, but any other encounters from here on out, I might try to just pass by, because we've taken almost 3 minutes, more than 3 minutes on this, uh, this route alone. And I just want to get to Mr. Pokemon's house. You know, I'll just make a guarantee that I'm going to go back to New Bark Town to see Professor Elm after Mr. Pokemon's house, and then I'll end the episode. So we'll see where, however much time that is. So I want to make this interesting. Hoot hoot. Bean uses tackle. Now, um, I know there are. Uh, you can get randomizers for these games to make the Nuzlocke challenge even more interesting because you'll see, like, uh, a third evolution Pokemon, sometimes legendaries, just in the wild, uh, like, for first encounters. Um, and they'll be, like, level 5, like, level 3 even, like this Rattata. Um, and I think that's, that's fun, but, uh, for a first-timer, I think, oop, attack on this. For a first-timer, I think that's a little too much. Alright, now I said I was going to skip all the, you know, next encounters, but I'm going to get Bean to the late. Alright, we're almost halfway there to letting Bean evolve into a Bayleaf. And this must be Mr. Pokemon's house. I'm going to grab this apricot, uh, apricorn. 
It's called an apricot. It's pink. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna have to look up what these do after the recording. Get inside the house. And there's Mr. Pokemon. Is that Professor Oak? That looks like Professor Oak. I wouldn't be surprised if it is, because, uh, no. I wouldn't be surprised if it is, because I'm pretty sure, uh, Kanto, you can go to the Kanto region in this game. After you beat the Johto region. He's the best when it comes to Pokemon Evolution, that's Professor Oak. Oh, cool, he rested being up. Well, he said, let's give your Pokemon a rest, well, Pokemon and Pokemon are the plural and singular, so never mind that. I thought it was funny, but it wasn't. Yeah, I'm helping him with his research. Now, I don't know how old this kid is. I know in the in the anime, Ash is like 10 or whatever, and when you're 10, that's when you can start having a Pokemon. But our guy does not look like he's 10. Even so, he looks like he's still a kid. And uh, I, would, I don't understand how professors trust kids to help them with their research. Alright, I guess we get to go. He gave us an egg. And I'm thinking since this is Johto, that it's probably Togepi in the egg. It's a disaster, it's just terrible. Please get back here now. Click. Alright, well, Professor Elm <laughs> requests our presence. Alright, let's try to get through here quick. Uh... Alright, we made it through there without an encounter. Are you new? I can't remember if I saw her. No, she's just a tutorial lady. That jump. Ledge. Cherry Grove City. Alright, we made it back to Cherry Grove. Now, almost there. Oh! Hey, there's our rival guy. You got a Pokemon as a lab with a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a whip like you. Did you get what I'm saying? I too have a good Pokemon. So, he broke into the lab and stole the Pokemon that has a type advantage against us. However,. Uh, he's only level 5, and so that means he doesn't have Ember, and we're level 8, so we have more damage on him. That's interesting, because in most Pokemon games, you fight uh, your rival right out the gates, and usually you don't lose, but, you know, sometimes you do. So it's interesting that they let us explore a little bit and level up Bean before... Uh, before throwing us into this battle. <laughs> Are you happy you won? So he just gave us 500 Pokemon currency too. He says he's going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer in the world. Now being a Ginge myself, this dude just makes us all look bad. He's like extreme Ginge though, because his hair is way too red. So we actually stole his trainer card and now we know his name. I think there was an Apricorn tree up here. There was. Is it green? We already have a green one. It is green. Alright. I don't know if you can combine them or whatever. Let's jump over this ledge. And we made it back to new but not yet. <laughs> uh idiot. idiot. Alright, here we're coming around. Oop. I like oh, I was too early. Alright. Now we made it back to New Bark Town. Let's see, Professor Allen, let's see what he has to say. Oh, and uh, Officer Jenny, I think? Whoever, whoever committed the crime always comes back to the site, so she's blaming us. There's a red-haired boy looking into the building, so she's on too. Lyra's covering my ass. You battled a boy like that? Did you happen to get his name? You know what? I think it's funny. I'm just gonna name him Red. It's the color areas. It'd be ironic if his name was red. It's also funny because I, I think Ash's name is technically red or something. I can't remember. Red's part of the lore, and this guy's not actually red. So he's definitely our rival. I don't know if she's our rival or not because Totodile's still on that uh, the Pokemon thingy over there in the right there. So we gave him the mystery egg. So I guess he's gonna keep it then. Might as well find what secret holds. You gave me a Pokedex, yeah. I 
I knew you were a loser. Yeah, we're gonna do the Pokemon Gym Challenge for sure. Alright. Before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. Um, I think I'm gonna end it right there. We've actually just reached 20 minutes. So, I accomplished all that I wanted to do in the first episode. Uh, if you liked the episode, leave a like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, and have a great day.